Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen. So today we're going to work on some fun and cool abstracts. Yes, using a different type of tool today, a charcoal pencil. Yes, this fun guy <laughs> is a lot of fun to use and play with watercolor. You'll see what happens when you react water to charcoal. It's a really kind of cool effect. Um, it's a really kind of fun to play with. You should try it in your repertoire of things that you probably have. Very inexpensive thing to buy at a craft store or art supply store. But look at the look at the result. Really cool things. Simple shapes, you know, washing in color, adding in some color, using a gel pen in some areas like I did here. And you have some great results. Let me know if you love abstracts. Leave a comment below. Some people like them, some people don't, you know. But really what they teach you to do is play with color you know, and shape, which is great. Um, you know, it's just something to do. Also, please um, hit the bell notification button if you haven't, so you know my tutorial's up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. <laughs> we have a lot of fun over here. And check out my Patreon. I have ad-free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials on Thursdays that are not on YouTube, that are longer, more in depth, and have usually reference, photo, or traceable to go with them. And a live stream in the top tier. It's just a place people go and support my channel, which I super appreciate. You can check it out right up here. Boop. So without further ado, let's get painting some fun, loose, abstract cards. Okay, for this fun and easy and quick exercise, I'm gonna go over some supplies I have. I have pieces of Arsh 100% cotton cold pressed paper. Any really good quality cold pressed paper that's cotton would do um, for the bleeding. And the key for this particular exercise is this charcoal pencil. You can get these, um, you know, in any like art supply store, you see how it peels down with this little this little um, thread and you pull it and then it peels the whole layer and exposes it. I don't know, it's not working right now, but it exposes it. And so, and then watercolor, and then we'll be using some gold paint. Um, I have gold watercolor. So really just think of drawing geometric shapes. This is really simple. Like this is a little, it took me two seconds to make. And I didn't add, also you can have gel pens, you know, you can go in gel pens, like draw little things in your dark areas. But just think of like Mondrian, if you've heard of Mondrian, the famous artist, didn't like basically just squares and rectangles um, and fill in certain ones. So kind of similar with, the, with this. And also if you haven't ever used charcoal and watercolor, it's so much fun. And of course it's going to bleed a little bit, but that's the beauty of it, right? So I'm going to show you how I kind of created the other one. You're just making squares, right? You're just drawing squares, kind of funky squares, little lines down. Maybe they kind of have a line that comes down here. I'm going to make them all different. And you can have so much fun doing this. Any skill level, any age group can do this. So put a little line here. Just think of lines and squares. Really kind of simple. Curve it. Have another one come in here, put some lines, and just really go for it, right? And have something come up like here. You could also use, you know, just a regular 2B pencil. 2B, this is, I don't know if this is 2B, this is regular 2 pencil. You can kind of go in here and use a pencil. It won't bleed like a charcoal, but it have the same kind of cool look. I'm just going to go in here and draw some little more squares. You can draw doesn't have to be squares, you can be weird shapes also. See, I drew some kind of funky shapes kind of coming out. Play around with that. Well, then the fun begins. Now I'm going to be using my number 12, excuse me, number, number um, 10, Princeton Aqua Elite. It can be any kind of brush you have. And this is where the fun was colors. I mix up some peacock blue with some burnt umber. I get this nice kind of muted aqua tone. And watch when you wash the um, the charcoal pencil, see? Now that's just simple. If I went like this, I just cleaned off my brush and just took plain water. Look at that. I love it. So you can grab some blues. I have some blues mixed up here. I'm just filling in the squares. Some brown. Right, I can maybe go over a couple of squares. I might just take the water itself again and going over this. See how it bleeds, that charcoal bleeds. It's kind of really beautiful. 
mm -hmm. this is how you do it <laughs> gray paints gray with ultramarine blue get a little bit darker so you're kind of filling in all those areas that you just drew isn't this fun and then have some on the outside you can just kind of bleed I took some just plain old uh, paints gray here my last one so it's kind of like a Mondrian effect grab some blue I'm doing the blue I'm just bleeding the color with the charcoal and I really like this see how I just take the peacock blue which is turquoise basically and add some burnt umber and you get this muted bluish green color it's just really pretty now I'm being really quiet I mean quite slow with this to show you but I did the other one really fast and just clean up my brush and I just take the water itself and I'm just kind of moving. I still have some green tint in mine cleaning up my brush but look at this just moving the water over the charcoal what a cool effect right but you didn't know you could do that and I'm bleeding that one down and you create this really cool abstract now I also have gold paint I'll be putting that in strateg strategically if I can I think I'm going to use some more burnt umber in here so I, I uh, activated this gold paint it really needs to be thicker it's too watered down and you can kind of put that in little squares the little shapes that you have seen that you've created isn't that fun <laughs> and I want you guys to have fun and this is such a great exercise and playing with color and shape and wet on wet and another tool I bet you didn't know you could use charcoal with watercolor I'm trying to teach you all kinds of fun things to do go back in here I'm gonna play around with the colors. so my colors are very muted blues and greens and grays and that helps with your design a lot I'm gonna go back in and add this turquoise maybe a little prettier blue right in here you can change it up and make it more like pink tones or beige tones what happens if I add a little orange we're going to grab some yellow and some of this um, bright rose. My brush was kind of dirty, so it's going to make kind of a dirty kind of color. It looks more like a brown, like a burnt sienna. And then you can keep it all kind of in the center, or you can kind of bleed some more on the outside and just kind of go like this. You can keep it really nice and tight, like I had before. Isn't that fun? So let's try another one. Mm -hmm. Already we have two really cool cards. It's kind of like a great, you can do this larger. You know, here's that pencil. Let's try and do some more kind of fun stuff. You can try almost like a house and do this. All right, pretend there's some windows and a door. With those shapes I know you can do something like this see I'm dissecting the house and I'll go back and use my pencil and just because I want to see the pencil marks Just try and take something that's a little less abstract, a little more suggestive, like of a house. And there we go. I just wash down that charcoal. Look how cool that is. If you haven't tried this, you need to. So if you're better at drawing than painting, take the charcoal, draw something. See, now I'm really just kind of getting in the house with all those beautiful grays. I can start adding color now. 
turquoise door, maybe some deep colored in windows. So it's abstract, but yet not. Let's do the roof. I think this is so much fun. <laughs> you might not think so. Not everybody likes abstract, which is fine. I think it's the most therapeutic thing you can do. Seriously. Why? Because there's no rules. Um, it's very freeing. And it really, it teaches you to play with color. So when you go to do like a floral or something else more serious, grab me my gold. You can actually think about the colors more. Now I did very muted colors with blues. But again, you could have done, let's see if I go to add more of a bright pinky color. Let's see what happened. Is that shape? Fun, isn't it? And then I just clean up my brush. You can just take this paint and kind of push it out here. See what happens. Just wiggling the, the paint that I have. Letting it bleed. Kind of messing up this charcoal a little more. Love it. <laughs> when it dries, you can go back in and add some more concentrated gold. So this, this one, the first one I did, you can do, I did some gold like rings. Cause it might've, it might've fade when it, you know, it, it's wet and you can go back in and add some more concentrated gold and then take a gel pen or something on the dark areas and you can draw in really cool little circles. So I actually might play around with that more on this one. Get some dark areas. Make the door dark. Just a few darker areas. Cause then you can do some really cool things with the gel pen. And I really like this turquoise color. Let's get that out here. Let's play with it down here. It can go right off the page, by the way. It doesn't have to be all in the center. That's what I'm saying. Each one of them can be completely different. And they should. And I like just a bit of that orangey color kind of thrown in. One more concentrated here and here. See, I'm just filling in those little shapes. But what a look, right? To create such a great look. People will think you're a master. <laughs> this one bled a little more. I can kind of lift some of the paint. Play around with your techniques here. Lift the paint in the sections that kind of got wet. So basically you're getting this paintbrush wet and lifting it and tapping it back on the paper towel or towel, whatever you have. See, now you've cleaned that area up. And the same thing with this. Just lifting. And I'm gonna go in here. You're like, why'd you lift it and put color back in? Because I wanted to, I thought it was too white. Didn't like that. And I'm gonna grab some gold. My gold is like, needs to be activated. Just little lines, maybe a little gold up in here. All right, I'm gonna let that one dry and we'll do some like white gel pen on that. So once they're finished drying, you can go back in and play around with it and add some gold touches, some lines, some just simple lines. I think that's really kind of fun. Fill in some squares. You can take that gel pen, like I said, and then maybe you're putting in the door. Mm. 
so it's semi-abstract on this one, right? But not really. Look at all the fun you can have with watercolor and gel pens. The this one, the, the one we did before. Add that gel pen. Isn't this fun? And you can go back in with your colors too and start to play with pattern. I don't know if I necessarily like that. Maybe I'd fill in a little more on this one. See, it's really teaching you to have fun with pattern and shape. All that good stuff. And this one I want to fill back in. I love the pencil lines in there. It's my original one, a little faded. I want to add some of my color in here. This is my practice one. This was much simpler lines. All right, just a few gold touches. But look at the look at the result. Really just super cool. I love it. So try a charcoal pencil. Try some gel pens. Just draw simple squares and triangles or whatever. Draw like a house. Play around with it. Do like a little funky tree and believe and play all with your watercolor and your paintbrushes. Such a cool thing. Be really great cards. Can be really great. Just beautiful, huge. You can do this really big. Make us a beautiful abstract watercolor painting. You know. All right, I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you enjoyed this. Uh, I know some people want abstracts and everybody wants a different thing. Like, um, But I'm working on all the different things that you guys all put in for the poll. Also, if you haven't hit the bell notification button, please do so to know my tutorials up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We have fun over here. So thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Take care and have a great day.